am Denison Smith. I am the owner and director of the Baldwin Gallery and Baldwin Curatorial Team. We curate dialogue between nature, culture, and art. And tonight, we have uh, curated Sonny Asu's first solo show in London, which is Sonny Asu, A Radical Mixing. In A Radical Mixing, we see Sonny uh, engaging with the form line tradition, an ancient tradition across the Northwest Pacific coast. It's this rich iconography of ovoids, S-shapes and U-shapes out of which an entire vocabulary of art is created. Sonny then takes those form lines and he engages in a contemporary fashion with pop art. He takes them and he makes them neon, he takes them and he makes them three-dimensional, or he gives them perspective. He breaks out of the three color restrictions of the tradition and he uses them very often in the ways of intervention. In one series interventions on the imaginary he takes them and he superimposes them upon digital representations of colonial paintings. He tags those paintings with the presence of his people and says, I am here. My name is Lindsay Nixon. I am an independent curator from Canada. We're going through a moment of reconciliation in Canada, which very essentially means more integration of Indigenous perspectives into industries like art. Um, so to see an artist who is so community-based and so respected by our communities, like Sonia Su, come to Canada House, it's been really special to witness. Non-Indigenous people, when they view Indigenous art, they often um, read it as autobiographical or personal. But I see Sunny Sue as being one of the first artists of this new sort of generation, these bad kids who wanted to really integrate what our lives look like right now. Of course we have tradition in our lives, but also we grew up in the city and we were inspired by punk rock music, we were inspired by comic books, and these things, when you're disconnected from your language and your teachings, they are really early representations of kinship teachings, of indigenous teachings that we didn't grow up with. And so we connect with these things, these objects, these material cultures. And Sunny Asu was one of the first artists who decided to represent that. He's always playing with this kind of hybridity where there's, there's tension and there's dialogue and there's antagonism and there's commentary and there's criticism. And at the same time, there's also that this is part of where he's from. It's interesting, particularly in a time of increased nationalism and increased uh, rigidity around identity. I remember seeing his photo series when I just started art school and just feeling so emotional in the gallery in a way that I had not been able to in a long time because I saw the work and I just knew it was for me. It was for urban indigenous people who have very confluent, diverse, complex identities.